Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of this case-based question, which is uh, an application problem based on similarity of triangles. Generally, case-based questions will give for uh, four marks or five marks, and each question carries uh, only one mark. So you have to reduce uh, the steps while doing the solution. So let us go through uh, with this solution. You will understand how to reduce the steps. Now let us uh, moving to the problem. Now, Geetansha was standing in the ground in front of ATC tower in a force station in Dun. The officer on duty flight lieutenant uh, Amen focused on uh, the search light of the ATC tower on Geetansha and her shadow was formed on the ground. Look into the figure given below where AB is the ATC tower, CD is Geetansha and DE is her shadow and also the following questions. So here no values are given and uh, you have to read this uh, comprehension like passes very fast while doing the problem because here no values are given only from here it is uh, useful from this place it is useful because AB is the ATC tower like that and the figure is also given you have to observe the figure very well. Uh, and here the first question is if the height of Kitansha is 1.5 meters the length of her shadow is 6 meters point E is 36 meters away from the tower then what is the height of the ATC tower is? And here four options are given. You have to find which option is correct. And the figure is also given here. AB is the tower. And this is the height of Gitansha that is given. That is also given 1.5 meters. And here the shadow length is given at this position. That is 6 meters. See here, this is 6 meters. And 36 meters away, point E. From the tower to E, that is 36 meters. This distance is also given. And just calculate this value, BD, that is from the tower to her position. That is BD is equal to 36 minus 6, that is 30 meters. And here, if you can see, there are two triangles, one big triangle and one small triangle. So these two triangles are similar triangles. So corresponding side ratios are equal. So for the big triangle, the uh, side is AB because you have to find this side. So AB by here, the corresponding side for the small triangle is 1.5 by 1.5 is equal to, this is the side of big triangle BE, that is 36 by corresponding side for the small triangle, that is 6 by 6. Now, uh, if you cross multiply this, 6 ones are, 6, 6 are 36, so 6, 6 into 1.5, that is 9 meters. So AB is equal to 9 meters, so options 2 is correct, that is 9 meters. If you go to the second question, if Geetanja moves 2 meters towards the tower, then the length of shadow will. Here, four options are given. All are increased, decreased, remains same. Mathematically cannot calculate it. So, you have to find how, how the shadow length will be. So, uh, here she moves from the starting position to uh, 2 meters. So, this, is the, this was the first position and 2 meters towards the tower. So, 30. Before, it was 30 meters. You can see 30 meters. BD is 30 meters. So, 32 meters she moves from the uh, starting position to towards the tower. So, 30 minus 2, that is 28 meters. So, this is the position now. Now, the distance is 28 meters and you know all these values. Similar to the previous one, you can uh, apply the uh, corresponding side ratios are equal. So, 9 by 1.5 is equal to here the distance of this big triangle that is BE is equal to 28 plus DE. You have to find this distance DE. So 28 plus DE by DE. Now 3 3s are 9 and 3.5s are 1.5 and 0.5 into 28. 0.5 is 1 by 2. So 28 by 2 is 14. So 14 plus 0.5 DE. 3 DE is equal to this one and 3 DE minus 0.5. 3 minus 0.5 is 2.5. So 2.5 DE is equal to 14 and therefore DE is equal to 14 by 2.5. 2.5 is 25 by 10. So you can uh, take out two numerators. So 14 into 10 by 25, that is 5.6 meters. So it decreases. Second one, second is correct. Because if you see the previous one, that is 6 meters. So the distance is 30 meters. Then it was 6 meters. Now the distance is 28 meters. And the shadow length is 5.6 meters. As compared with the previous one, 6 meters, it is less value. 5.6 is less value. So it decreases. Second option is correct. And this is next question. Using the data in part A of this question, find the value of AC is to CE. So AC is to CE. These are the, this side. So here some options are given and you have to find the ratio of these uh, sides. 
So for this, you have to apply the theorem 6.1. We know that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. So here CD is parallel to AB. So you can uh, equal the uh, these ratios are equal. So AC by CE is equal to BD by BE. So AC by CE is equal to BD is 30 by 6. That is 5 by 1. Therefore, the option 4 is correct. That is 5 is to 1. And in the next question, this is D. Which of the following relation is true? So here, uh, the options are given. You have to find which option is correct. So here, A, B, C, A, B, C, D. A, B is to C, D. So the sides ratios are given. So you can see here, these are uh, similar triangles, big triangle and small triangle. So the corresponding side ratios are equal. So you can write A, B by C, D is equal to B by D, or you can write here A, B, E and C, D, E. You have to write here in the same order, like A, B, E, so C, D, E. Then only you can equal the corresponding side ratios. Like this A, B by C, D is equal to B, E by D, E, and A, E by C, e. all are equal. So from this, you can identify the options here. A, B by C, D is equal to B, E by D, E. Yes, this is correct. And second one, AC, CE. No, it is not correct. And third one, AB by CD is equal to E by C. Yes, it is correct. So here, one and three are correct. So the option fourth one is correct. So answer here is fourth one. And this is next question. If Kitangsha moves away from the tower at a speed of 1.2 meter per second, then what will be the length of the shadow after five seconds? So you have to find the length of the shadow once she moves from the starting position to one uh, that position uh, which is uh, the speed of her is 1.2 meter per second. So you have to calculate the distance here. So after 5 seconds, so distance is equal to speed into time that is 1.2 speed is 1.2 meter per second into 5 seconds that is 6 meters. So this distance from the starting position to 6 meters she moves. Uh, so, the distance now is BD is equal to 30 plus 6, that is 36 meters. Now, you have to find the length of the shadow. So every time the shadow length will change once she moves, that we know. So, here uh, 9 by 1.5 uh, corresponding side ratios are equal. So, 9 by 1.5 is equal to here the distance BE is 36 plus DE. See here, 36 plus DE by DE. You have to find DE here. So once you calculate this, you will get E is equal to 18 by 2.5, that is 7.2 meters. So the length of the shadow is 7.2 meters. So this is first option here, 7.2 meters. So this is correct. So no need to draw all these lines in your exam time because uh, it will take time. Uh, if it is possible, you can show all the distances in one figure that will be better. If you get confused, then you can draw more figures like this. If for each question, you can draw different figures or you can draw all the details in one figure like this. I will uh, tell you how to draw in one figure. So this is the figure in one figure. This is the starting position. D that is 30 meters is given. And if she moves one point, uh, sorry, two meters towards this tower. So this is the distance C1, D1. So that is 30 minus two, that is 28 meters, this distance. C1, D1 is the next position. After that, she moves 1.2 meter per second from this position, from starting position. That is 6 meters distance. We have just now calculated 1.2 meter per second. That is 6 meters distance. So, this is the next position. C2, D2. So, like this, you can show all these uh, details in one figure and you can calculate the length of the shadows. And uh, these are the observations uh, after solving. Solving the questions, uh, if the di uh, distance is 28 meters, then the shadow length is 5.6 meters, 30, then 6, and 36 meters, 7.2 meters. You can check uh, the values. You can check the values. And here, if the distance increases, then the shadow length also increases. Uh, 